the 15 most expensive homes in New York. Welcome to Luxury Hall, the place where billionaires come to visualize wealth. It's time to revisit the most expensive homes for sale in New York right now. Despite the well-documented softening of the luxury market, the uppermost echelon of real estate is still ridiculous. Even though there are fewer nine-digit listings than in previous iterations of this list, some of the usual suspects remain. We last took stock of the top end of inventory in February, and this go-round, several stalwarts have either left the market or gotten substantial discounts. As usual, all of the homes on this list are either in Manhattan or the Hamptons. With all that being said, it's time to dive into the 15 most expensive homes in New York. Number 15, 35 Hudson Yard, Penthouse 91. A penthouse close to the top of Hudson Yard's tallest residential tower recently listed for $59 million. The nearly 10,000 square foot apartment has seven bedrooms, including a truly enormous master suite, seven and a half bathrooms, and panoramic views of Manhattan and beyond. Number 14, the Crown Building, 21st floor. The conversion of Midtown's landmark Crown Building into an ultra luxury hotel slash condo hybrid is chugging along and three of its apartments, including one full floor penthouse have recently listed. The penthouse listed for $59.46 million. The so-called Vanna penthouse takes up the entire 21st floor, spanning 6,200 square feet and with walls of windows fronting both 5th Avenue and 57th Street. It has all of the uber fancy trimmings you'd expect, custom finishes, three fireplaces, a home theater, a private elevator lobby, and the list goes on. Each of its four bedrooms has its own ensuite bathroom and the master bedroom comes with two walk-in closets. Number 13, the Pierre. The 14-room duplex on the 30th and 31st floors of the Pierre Hotel is back five years after it was first listed for $70 million. On a practical level, the apartment has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and 42 feet of Fifth Avenue frontage. The 30th floor is also for sale as its own individual apartment, asking $37 million. Altogether, there's $60 million. Number 12, Central Park Tower, number 115. The first public listings for Central Park Tower, Extel's massive super tall on 57th Street are here. And the most expensive of the bunch is the 115th floor, five bedroom, asking a whopping $63.75 million. That apartment, a simplex, is not the building's priciest pad, but it's still pretty ridiculous. Per the floor plan, it has a grand salon with room for a large dining table and a piano, several reception galleries, and an entire master wing with a sitting room, dressing room, and its own entry foyer off of the private elevator vestibule. Number 11, 53 West 53rd Street, Penthouse 76. This nearly 8,000 square foot penthouse is located on the 76th and 77th floor of John Novell's MoMA Tower. The duplex has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, and offers up 360 degree views of Manhattan, including Central Park, the Hudson River, downtown Manhattan, and the East River. For all of that, this place is asking for just under $64 million. Number 10, 15 Central Park West Penthouse 18 and 19A. Listing price at a whopping $65 million. An investor in the biotech sphere is selling a penthouse at 15 Central Park West. The Robert A.M. Stern design building that's long been a magnet for high rollers. The apartment itself is a 5,900 square foot duplex occupying a southeastern corner of the building meaning it has fabulous Central Park views from its 1,000 square foot terrace. There are five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, an eat-in kitchen with a breakfast nook and multiple walk-in closets throughout. Number nine, 12 East 63rd Street, $67 million. When you picture an Upper East Side mansion, a few things probably come to mind. A classically inspired facade, possibly made of limestone, a grand winding staircase, opulent decorative details, including a fireplace or two, 
and even more opulent amenities, which could include a pool, a spa, a greenhouse, or all of the above. This particular Upper East Side mansion has all of that and more, thanks to a renovation by Thierry Despont and Pierre-Yves Rochon. Number eight, 359 Meadow Lane and 660 Halsey Neck Lane, $72.5 million. Sited on 12 waterfront acres of Halsey Neck Pond, this compound consists of two houses. Built in 1994, the existing home has over 6,000 square feet of living space, five bedrooms, and six full bathrooms, plus pond and ocean views across the street. Interiors include marble floors and fireplaces, a marble kitchen with stainless steel appliances, and a 2,000 square foot master suite that has the entire second floor to itself. The master suite offers a fireplace, two water view terraces, walk-in closets, dual marble bathrooms, and a sitting room with a kitchenette. Number seven, Time Warner Center, Penthouse 80. Related CEO Stephen Ross listed his 80th floor condo atop the South Tower of the Time Warner Center for a whopping $75 million. Ross and his wife, jewelry designer Kara Ross, have called the apartment home since the Time Warner Center was completed in the early 80s. They brought on interior designer Tony Ingrau to design the space, which has custom everything, flooring, moldings, cabinets, and more. Number six, 172 Madison Avenue. A quintuplex penthouse at 172 Madison Avenue in Midtown, deemed Le Penthouse, has an asking price of $98 million. The 19,000 square foot property has five stories, 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, several fireplaces, a private roof deck with a pool and jacuzzi, and more than 3,500 square feet of overall outdoor terrace space. The over-the-top unit also boasts 18 to 32 foot high ceilings and nearly anything that money can buy. Number five, Woolworth's Buildings Pinnacle. After years of speculation, the Woolworth Building's penthouse dubbed the Pinnacle finally hit the market in 2017 for $110 million. It's since gotten a price cut to $79 million. Alchemy had to carry out extensive work before making it livable. This included getting permission from the Landmarks Preservation Commission to add more windows and replacing 3,500 pieces of damaged terracotta on the facade. The five-floor penthouse was started about 700 feet and will come with a 400 square foot open air observatory. 12 East 69th Street. Once asking a staggering $114 million, this opulent Upper East Side mansion is now on the market for $79 million. The townhouse belongs to billionaire Vincent Viola, best known for owning the Florida Panthers. He purchased the, this townhouse back in 2005 for a comparatively modest $20 million. The 19-room mansion was designed by William Bosworth, the Gilded Age architect who designed the Rockefeller estate. Number three, 134 Charles Street, $80 million. A West Village wannabe mega mansion that has been trying to sell since at least 2014 returned to the market last fall with a monster price increase. The mega mansion plans have been designed by Leroy Street Studio, and the owner recently brought on landscape architect Edmund Hollander to create new green space plans for the house. A spokesperson for Bespoke Real Estate said the price increase is due to the fact that previous listings did not include the formalized mega mansion plans. Number two, 1080 Meadow Lane, $150 million. This three property compound is both oceanfront and bayfront. Offers a total of 14 plus acres with 700 plus feet of direct oceanfront across three separate lots, plus an additional bayfront lot. With 360 degree water views, the world class trophy location includes 12,000 plus square feet main residence with indoor pool and surfeit of glass for the extraordinary views, a tennis court with tennis house, pool and spa with pool house, two golf greens with golf houses. From any of the three private walkways to the ocean, the views up and down the Atlantic, in addition to the unobstructed views across the bay will take your breath away. Number one, the Henry Ford Estate, $175 million. Built in 1960 for Henry Ford Jr., this 42-acre compound 
offers the largest ocean frontage in the Hamptons, spanning nearly a quarter mile. Additionally, the private grounds about extensive protected and preserved land, essentially adding another quarter mile of ocean frontage and uninterrupted water views. The residence offers the best of old world charm and elegance, and is coupled with today's casual lifestyle choices and functionality. Original details preserved from the Ford family estate include distinctive ceilings, Italian marble fireplaces, imported French parquet floors, and select antique hardware from a European chateau. The soaring ceilings, grand staircase in the foyer, and palatial formal entertainment spaces are offset with the casual understated elegance of the newly constructed and renovated everyday spaces, including a gourmet kitchen opening to a sun-filled family room, game room, and oversized playroom. All common rooms offer unobstructed views of nature in every direction, whether it is the dunes out to the Atlantic Ocean or the picturesque Meacox Bay.